Okay, well, uh, this one barely feels like a, a complete game. I command you to rise from your grave and rescue my daughter. Yeah, this one barely feels like a game in the Mega Drive version. So let's see how it handles in the Master System version. Will the fact that it was already terrible give them a chance to improve upon it? Or will the fact that, or will uh, it be even worse than we would imagine? Okay, so button wise we've got kick, we've got punch, And if you hit both of them together at the same time, you jump. Oh man, we need the uh, we need the blue piggy. Cuz that gives us the power up. Oh man, look look at this guy. If you thought he looked ripped in the uh the Mega Drive version, look at this. Head's kind of tiny though. <laughs> man was not meant to be this shredded. It looks laggy, it is laggy. It is very laggy. Look at how how jerky all the animations and everything are. Is it just me or does he have like three elbows? His biceps are so big they've turned into elbows. He's got additional elbows to handle his biceps. Ah! Me alone. <laughs> My gosh. If you've been so muscular that you just kicked a skeleton apart in a single blow. Have you ever been so muscular you turned into a dog? Way too much leg, yeah. This game's almost as leggy as it is laggy. Oh, hey, it's the guy. Guys, I think a bad just happened. Like, this might not be great. On a, uh, like on a large scale. Oh, let me go! Have mercy! Well, that lasted long. So maybe don't dash right into him, I guess. Uh, thanks for shouting that out, Miki. Looks like I misclicked while, uh... Unpausing... while unpausing the stream. You should be able to hear it now, hopefully. I mean, let's not leg shame here, Miki. Maybe I'm sure he's perfectly. I'm sure he should feel perfectly comfortable with those thighs that could crush cars. Or the fact that his feet are about the size of my entire torso. Different folks like different things.
Or the fact that he has to crouch down to punch a skeleton in the face. Ah, no! Come back, Blue Piggy! I need that power! But I was so ripped! that guy being here last time. I'm going to have to change the game again, just because I'm dying so much. Are you tired of the bad dudes getting all of the girls? Become intensely ripped in a matter of seconds with this one weird technique. Bodybuilders hate this guy. Take a look at this loser. You won't believe how shredded he became. <laughs> yeah, everything gets bigger except his head, apparently. It's tiny. You can hardly see it between those muscles. He's got no neck. His biceps go higher than his neck. He can he can't see to the left or right because of how big his biceps are. And you can fly away from me. Think again. It's just like, nah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Walks off. my power up I'm not yet enough I'm not yet ripped enough warning excess excessive consumption may turn you into a dog man Barkley is that you what? 
Oh, you can jump extra high if you hold up while you jump. <laughs> yeah, too much testosterone. It may cause you to turn into a dog man. The bot it's the body fur. Ah I got to the boss first try and I've not managed to pull that off since. I'd like to have one more go at the boss before I give up on this game. Dang it, I was backing up for a charge on a gargoyle and a dog got me from behind. What is this, the latest Dark Souls? <laughs> oh, there is so much lag. One last try at this, I think, because... Well, I don't know, maybe a few more tries at this because it's almost time to end and I can't really start a new game. <laughs> Arise from your graves. Altered Beast, now would be a good time to get real muscular. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always muscular. Can't believe they released it like this. I mean, I can't believe they released it like it is in the uh, Mega Drive version, so, uh... Don't know what to tell you about this version. Used your image without your permission, Alan. Thought I recognized those biceps. Look at the way he walks. With those muscles down by his side. He can't get his arms close enough to his body to walk normally. Because they're that bulky. The biceps force his arms out at uh, 45 degree angles. Ah! Come on, I need the- I need the thing! Here we go. I'm gonna keep on saying it, humans were not meant to be that shredded. It's gone beyond the limits of uh, mortal bodybuilding. I like how he basically slams a smoke bomb for that part. I think this might actually be more horrifying than the, uh, at least for this bit, more horrifying than the Mega Drive version. Oh yeah, the proportions are terrible. Like, we, we thought he looked bad in the original. We hadn't seen anything yet. So much 
much worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think we got it. We set off the really fake looking smoke bomb. And the goblin floated out and then floated away. <laughs> Just took a quick look at us and then wandered off. Man, look at how weak we look. We've obviously not exercised properly in months. Okay. Oh, chicken leg! We got to see the chicken leg, everything's okay. Yeah, I didn't even steal my power. I just didn't work out for a while, I guess. Ah. It's a forest in the original. I'm not 100% sure what it is here. The bottom of the ocean, maybe? Didn't get very far that time. So yeah, this uh this this is absolutely terrible. So I guess it's an accurate part of the original game. So uh thumbs up from Loomis. I don't think we can start an yeah, th this is clearly the bottom of the ocean, right? This is what the bottom of the ocean and also marine, natu perfectly natural marine life looks like as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that all seems pretty legit. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can really start another game at this point, and I don't think I can face another one of this, so, uh... 1988? Is that when this version came out? Or when the original came out? Or did they- they probably both came out at the same time, right? What a night. I mean, at least the Streets of Rage game was pretty good. I enjoyed that one. And the music was amazing for the Golden Axe game. It's just a shame the rest of it didn't hold up. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Saw so a copyright year and thought it said 1988. Ah, 1988 seems legit to me. Where was that? Was that on the main screen? Yeah, copyright Sega 1988. <laughs> well, you know, I knew that I knew there was a few games that they'd done these parts for, and I just kind of wanted to see. Technically, that uh, Taz game we played the other week was a port as well, and of course, yes, all of the Sonic games for the. Master System are parts, but they're basic, but they're so different that they're basically new games. Just I think why they hold up so well. I was just kind of curious. I never, never, I knew these existed, never played any of them. I wanted to see. <laughs> Thanks, Miki. Hey, no problem. It was it was really nice to talk to you. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better. 31? Yeah, so this would be about 31 years ago. The dawn of time. This came out the same year that I was born, so... <laughs> Thanks, Noella. Yeah, it was cool to see these. I'm surprised by, uh, they were obviously very determined to stay true to the original, like, right, right down to the enemy placements and everything. Everything is the same. I think they'd have been better off varying it up a little bit, making it their own game. Like they did with the Sonic games, where they're technically ports, but are functionally their own thing. I think that made for a better result. 
But it was cool to see. The Streets of Rage version was pretty cool. Man. Look at that guy. That That's a real man right there. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for the support guys. Thank you for being here and for uh, keeping me company. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching this more than I enjoyed playing it. <laughs> Have you ever been so ripped you turn into a dragon at the bottom of the ocean? Because with our latest energy drink, you can. <laughs> so yeah, next Retro Night's gonna be uh, Tuesday next week. But tomorrow I'll be playing Slay the Spire in the afternoon, and then it's gonna be Pokemon Uranium again in the evening. Pressing on into new territories after we beat the first gem. We've got the uh, second gym approaching. Should be interesting. <laughs> Only sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we can't. We, nobody can be so ripped that they turn into a dragon every single day. <laughs> but you know, ne never skip uh, Dragon Man Day. All right, let's see if we can find somebody else playing some games. Yeah, Pokemon tomorrow. Looking forward to it. The Pokemon games are always fun. The uh, challenges. I always look forward to those. <laughs> and it's cool doing the Uranium, the uh, fan game spin-off. Something a little unusual. All right. Let's see if we've got anybody on the uh, retro list playing a game. Metal Gear Solid 1? That's PlayStation. It feels weird to me that PlayStation is classic. PlayStation is the first, uh... To me, PlayStation is the first generation that is not retro. Sonic Mania? That's not retro. That came out like a couple of years ago. Outrageous. Oh hey, there's us. <laughs> I think we're gonna go say hello to the uh, Metal Gear Solid guy. Archaic Pursuit. In other words, Retro Gamer. I, I like that name, actually. If I noticed that name, I would have gone there sooner. Let's go say hi. So yeah, thanks again for watching, everybody. Appreciated the company, and I hope I see you all again. Good night, everyone. <laughs>